Welcome, FNews57 here. I'm back on Call of Duty Black Ops 4 today. And this guide will be a achievement guide for the Multiplicious achievement, which is in Zombie Rush, Get Your Score Multiplier to 100. It's easier said than done, but uh, can be done pretty easily as well. And at the same time, the High Score achievement. In Zombies Rush, obtain a personal score of 250,000. There is another one for team-based score, and you can get that in solo play. A matter of fact, I was pretty darn close to it. Um, I can't find the achievement right now because there's a ton of zombie-related achievements in this game. But it is a pretty easy one to do. It is... Uh, I'd have to find the name, but it is for getting 500,000 score as a team, and you can do that solo. The map that I chose to do this run on was the classified map. It's going to take a bit of luck and a bit of skill. It might take you a couple games, but I got up to 300,000 on my very first attempt, and I did mess up a few times. So basically what you're going to want to do is go into the menu, select zombie rush as your game type now i couldn't find any other players looking for that type of match so i went into zombies into classic and then tabbed over or uh, technically rb for those of us on xbox and uh, went over to the rush playlist and then selected a solo match now rush is a new zombies game mode it's definitely a faster paced game mode but everything is free. Mystery box, weapons, perks, pack-a-punch, ammo off the wall, everything like that is free. Now, I thought you could buy doors, but you cannot buy doors. Doors open based upon time. And what you're looking for is you're looking for as many points as possible. So every time you kill a zombie, your multiplier goes up. Every time you... Uh, pick up a rush points thing your multiplier goes up Every time you actually get hit or take damage of any kind Your multiplier goes down and it goes down by quite a bit. It goes down by like 50% every time you get hit So like I said, this was my first match. I did mess up a little bit on it and power-ups are also worth points, so keep that in mind. Repairing doors and windows and everything uh, will help you get a few extra points. You can repair them almost instantaneously. And then picking up these little gold points pickups, especially when you can safely do it with only a few zombies remaining or at the very beginning of a wave, is always a good idea. Now... I know I've tried meleeing for the kill to get a few extra points, but it didn't seem worth it compared to the loss of the score multiplier. So a little bit of this mode is going to come down to luck and getting something good from the mystery box. As you can see, I got the Winter's Howl, which is probably one of the best weapons for doing this. Now... I didn't really have a whole lot of perks unlocked, so I just used what I thought would be good, and I also used claymores. This is where I made my first mistake. I entered this room where the upcoming rush is without picking up the riot shield, because the riot shield's already built there on the table, and I really should have picked that up. It would have helped in situations later so i would recommend that you pick it up since it is free you don't have to collect parts for it it's already built for you and definitely pick up the perks as you go now i was using the ammo bandolier one simply just for more ammo because well i love ammo and winter's howl doesn't get a lot of ammo now we're in a zombies rush area and basically, if you do not stay in the zombies rush area, then it'll kill you. Or if you don't make it there in time, it'll kill you. So it's kind of like a battle royale versus zombies type mode. It's really weird, but 
it's kind of fun it's just extremely fast paced winner's howl i like and this is where i said that it's going to come down to a bit of luck simply due to the fact that you can hit many zombies at once with it and most importantly you can actually slow them down now another thing you'll notice that i didn't do is i didn't run up to any windows and repair the windows if you press and hold x or whatever button on your platform it is to repair the window that can be done instantaneous and it will give you like 30 points it does not increase your multiplier but it will increase your points and then eventually it's going to unlock the elevator which as you can see i already have a 83 score going into the elevator or 83 multiplier and if you wait long enough between doing anything that gives you score it'll reduce your multiplier quite quickly i might add so you always want to try and keep a zombie and kill it or be able to pick up a points pickup or something to just keep your score multiplier up there and also be very careful because at a high score multiplier well you can lose it very quickly a single hit as you've seen took me from the high 80s all the way down to the high 40s so you lose about half of your multiplier when you take damage that's not an insanely big deal until they start spawning dogs. When they start spawning dogs, it's really bad. So obviously you want to build up your multiplier. And then you want to get to whatever room the zombie rush is in. And do your best to not get hit. Which can be a easier said than done task. Especially because there's no way to lower or increase the difficulty at least at this time in this game mode. Again why I like the Winter's Howl for this. You can hit pretty much everything in a wide cone. It slows down zombies and it one shots the hellhounds. Double points is pretty important. Basically all power ups in this mode are pretty important. The only one you might not want to pick up, depending on what your score multiplier is, would be a nuke. I know I picked up a nuke a little bit early on, and it actually voided more points than what I could have made, simply because there was a ton of zombies available that I could have killed. I would also recommend before you attempt this by yourself that you use or unlock the perk uh, mule kick. This way you can get a third gun. That was my biggest problem is simply just running out of ammunition. So the ammo bandolier and mule kick would be two that I'd use for this. I also like the dying wish. And there you go. There's your 100 multiplier. It's relatively easy to get. You could probably get it before you ever even come into this room. But like I said, this was my first playthrough and I wasn't really familiar with where things were. I messed up a bit there going into the elevator because my multiplier was beeping at me. So remember when you come out of the elevator, there's always those zombies right there behind you. And you can get your multiplier back off of that. As you're running by, grab your perk. Whatever perk for the room. Which you'll notice I did mess up on this. And I actually didn't grab my perk from the war room. I told you this was my first setup. My first time doing this. So, eh. I wasn't really sure how quickly it went. But I got lucky and I got the Winter's Howl, which more than makes up for the few little mistakes. If I would have done everything perfectly right, repaired my windows, taken the time in the first couple rounds, run out the clock, get as many points as possible, and try to avoid getting hit until the dog spawned, I probably would have been able to hit the 500k score, team score by myself. Because you'll notice you do get a lot of points. Running out of ammo for the Winter's Howl is annoying. Because unfortunately there's no reload speed perk. There's no reload speed or damage dealt perk. 
So it definitely makes it interesting. And right there, I would have been able to get out of that situation if I had my riot shield. So like I said, that was a mistake on my part for not picking it up. I just didn't pay attention to it. Now you do keep your perks upon being revived because you have X number of lives. And as you can see, I have over the 260,000 score. And you only need 250,000 score in order to actually get the achievement the personal score achievement. Like I said, this is very doable. Now, it does get pretty crazy after this, so I would recommend getting as much score as you can, as early as you can. I thought it would be a good idea, since I was running out of ammo, to go for the Bowie knife, but that was actually a very, very bad idea due to the tight, confined quarters. The nuke, nuke was pretty helpful because it did kill eight zombies, giving me that eight times multiplier. And unfortunately, I got myself into a bit of a pickle down here in the lab because I just couldn't quite get out of the lab. And my final mistake was because I don't have mule kick swapping out the Winter's Howl, or if you pack a punch it, the Winter's Fury weapon. I should have kept that weapon. If you get it, I would recommend keeping it. I would almost say if you're trying to do the achievements all in one sitting, that, well, you don't get rid of it. <laughs> um, you might even consider reloading the match for the achievements if you don't get it simply due to how easy that it makes certain sections. Now I swapped it out, silly me. Um, I wasn't sure if Pack-A-Punch would be free or not. So because it had no ammo, I figured I would come in and do the rush in this area. But as you can see, I got a max ammo and yeah. Like I said, series of mistakes. Um, the dogs you cannot sprint away from. I also didn't pick up stamina up in the uh, room, down in that pig room in the lab, which is something that I should have done. So you're going to want to make sure that you know where all the perks are on the map, what order you need to pick them up in, just little things like that if you're going to go for the 500k score. Also, don't be afraid to use your special weapon. It can get you out of sticky situations. I was just using the sword because it was my favorite. I would probably suggest the minigun. Uh, the minigun would be the most beneficial at just like level one. The sword is probably my favorite because of its level three ability. But you can still get a lot of score. You're gonna have to keep moving. You're gonna have to keep training. Uh, I had Quick Revive, but Quick Revive is honestly not really that useful for this. You'll still earn weapon XP and levels for the weapons that you have unlocked. Now you see there was a double points there, so since I had a low score multiplier, I wanted to pick up that double points before picking up all of these rush points. Which was a good idea, but at the same time a bad idea. I'm pretty sure you can get uh, monkeys from the mystery box, but I was unable to get them. So you'll notice these guys took all of my points. They took all my multiplier and everything down because of the damn dogs. I really distaste dogs. But you can pack a punch for free, and if I had known that going in, I would have kept the Winter's Howl. And probably had the 500k score unfortunately you have a 30 second cooldown on the mystery box which is really annoying so a few tips i would recommend take your time try and keep your score multiplier up repair windows as you can don't be afraid to use traps traps do count to your multiplier kills Pick up the Riot Shield and make sure you pick up all of your perks. 
don't mess up like I did. If you get the Winter's Howl slash Winter's Fury, do not get rid of it. As you see, I did get to 299,000 score by myself on my very first run. Uh, my second run, I got to 400,000 score, but I was never able to get the Winter's Howl. So it is definitely possible to get the score. It's just going to be more difficult without that Wonder Weapon. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. It would probably be easier to do with other players, so if you do have a group of players, go for it and let me know. Until next time, make sure you like and share the video if it was helpful, and stay frosty.